Hello and welcome to episode 1 of a new series in City Skylines 2. In this episode I will present to you a short review with the goods and bads of this game and show you a time lapse of my city until 20,000 inhabitants. Even though the game had a rough start with performance issues and a mixed review score on Steam, I still consider it to be a very good game, given enough time to polish it and modding teams to get interaction. If we consider that this game was made with new generation hardware in mind, Maybe we can forgive the developers for releasing a half-optimized game, after all, we are here for fun and countless hours of enjoyment from a very good city builder simulator. Let's start with the negatives so we can get those out of the way fast and focus on the good stuff. First of all, the performance. When the game first launched, the performance was abysmal. But a few quick patches later, that came surprisingly fast, the game started to move a bit better, although we are still far from a smooth gameplay experience. Keep in mind, I have a mid-spec PC with hardware that was top of the line maybe like 5 years ago. Even with the patches, cars are still hovering above the ground, graphic glitches are everywhere, reflections, clouds, particles, peoples, cameras, you name it they are all glitched. Okay, now if that is out of the way, let's focus a bit on sweet gameplay changes. I feel that dividing residential needs to low, medium and high density is a good way to spice up things and give a sense of realism in organic city building. If in City Skylines 1, we could spam medium and high density residential as soon as we unlocked it and never going back, this time, the game forces you to think more spread out with new neighborhoods and city. Medium and especially high density residential areas are hard to come by and keeping them is a bit of a challenge, especially the high density residential. Same goes for commercial districts. If in CS1 we would have a hard time getting and maintaining high density commercial areas, they were still doable with proper transport infrastructure, and since, if you chose a European style city, the only high rise buildings were the high density commercial ones, so even having just a few of them, they worked wonders on the overall feel of your city. In CS2, the game shows you where commercial areas are best to be placed and developed, usually near medium or high density areas of other functions. Now let's go to road building. I feel that the road building was improved a lot since vanilla CS1 but still way under in terms of customizability compared to a fully modded version where you could place individual stop signs, road intersection priorities, custom lanes and many 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 more. I am sure that in time, all the mods will be available in CS2 and it's just a matter of time until we can get a fully customizable game suited for every need. Overall I consider CS2 to be a very good game, maybe not in the state that we would like it to be but it's got a very good foundation that can be developed. Also, it seems to be a trend in releasing half-baked games and ironing things out as they have more time to develop them and hardware catching up. This game makes no exemption. A good game, may be best in genre, but rushed and without polish. Of course, game fans like me and others will still flock to this game because it's the only city builder of this kind still available. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and see you next episode.